What's your favorite question to ask someone to get to know them better? I have a couple. Night or day? Sunrise or sunset? Favorite farm animal? If you could cuddle any animal, what would it be? Random things like that. Personally, I find that people who enjoy the night more than the day are more my kind of people. And it's not about being a night owl, but more of appreciating the beauty of the moon and stars. Same goes for sunrise slash set. There's such a different beauty in the two. As for farm animals, each species has its own set of personality traits then tend to gravitate to. Mine is the cow. They're big, dumb, and loving. What animal people want to cuddle can say a lot about them. Is it a cute and cuddly, sweet animal? Is it something that would result in death? Is it something weird and different? Mine is a bear. Yes it would result in death but I think they are the cutest things. Do you swallow? I don't have a specific question. But one thing I like to do is ask what are some backslash underscore backslash underscore backslash underscore you like or what are some backslash underscore backslash underscore backslash underscore you've enjoyed slash seen slash liked recently instead of what are your favorite backslash underscore backslash underscore backslash underscore. The favorite question makes people stop and think to try and decide what really is their total favorite. The sum of question doesn't require an immediate absolute decision, so it's easier to just start talking. What's the most valuable item you own that didn't didn't cost money? What video games do you play? Or what kind of games you like? Sup? What the first concert you ever been to? What's your favorite? 80% it's slightly embarrassing, which gives people the opportunity to be humble, and the other 20% gets them excited to share something they enjoyed. On dating apps it's been a perfect icebreaker and an easy gauge of someone actually wants to talk or if I'm even interested in them or be their friend. By the way, mine was Evanescence when I was 16, fucking loved it, 3 days grace opened for them. My favorite was red hot chili pepper at a festival. Smiley face. What would you kill a stranger for? What is the nicest thing that someone has unconditionally done for you? Patrick O'Shaughnessy's closing question on his podcast, always gets an insightful and interesting answer. What is your greatest goal in life? What's your biggest regret? This kid asked me dick size. The first time we met. I was also a kid. What do you do for fun? Last good book you read? What's your favorite movie? Concert? Who's your favorite eagle? It's just a weird question and I think people's reaction to it tells a lot. Confusion? Laughter? Actually having a real answer? Not having a real answer but can't admit it? To a straight person. Gun to your head. Who would you go gay for? It doesn't matter who they say. This question reveals which one of the two most important personality types to me. Either this person is an open-minded person who can entertain the idea of something without committing to or believing in it. Or this person is a close-minded fool. I find that the people who get upset or refuse to answer end up eventually revealing themselves as a person I want nothing to do with. People who answer quickly with conviction often know how to party. What's the worst thing you've done to someone? Someone who is honest will give a genuine answer that may shock you. Someone who acknowledges how wrong they were for doing it won't make excuses for what they done in the past and will show empathy. A genuine person won't give a fake answer that sounds like a brag even though it's supposed to be something terrible. Someone who hasn't grown enough to understand what they did wrong will likely give an I'm not sure answer or simply not answer. If you ended up in jail, what would your friends and family think you did? What music they like to listen to? What is your favorite version of the song Hallelujah? Do you like Seinfeld? If they do, we'll be good friends. If they don't, that's disappointing. If they say they're not sure, they're probably boring lol. I like to ask how many windows did their childhood home have? And the follow up. What room did you start slash end in? Do you put your shopping cart in the corral when you're finished with it? What are you like when you're angry? 
Are you religious? What do you think about politics? What kind of music slash artists are you into? This will tell me quite a bit about you. Do you watch cartoons? I've got no time for people who take themselves too seriously, if you can't appreciate some time being mindless and laughing you're not a person I want to hang out with. What their last meal on death row would be? I ask the following to make it interesting. 1. An entree. 2. A couple sides. 3. A dessert. 4. An alcoholic beverage. 5. A non-alcoholic beverage. I picked this up for the podcast in a party download. I like to ask tell me something I wouldn't know. What's the worst injury you've ever had? People always have crazy stories of freak accidents or self-stupidity. Why did you do that? Do it jiggle or do it fart? If you had a pouch like a kangaroo, what would you keep in it? Do you pee in the shower? Seriously? It's a good question. There are only two types of people in the world, ones who pee in the shower, and liars. You'll know right away if you're dealing with a liar. What is an example of their normal daily slash nightly routine? I have two. One, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Two, if you could go back in time and experience, not change or affect anything, just experience, any 24 hour period, what you you go back and experience. What is your favorite color? If you had to pour salad dressing on ice cream and eat it, what combination would you go for? Says a lot about the person. What is slash would be your go to karaoke song? I like to ask them who their childhood movie star crush was. Mine, Ralph Marchio, Patrick Swayze. Say you won the lotto, and you've invested, paid things off, set up trusts slash charities, etc. All the responsible things that you should do. So now you have hundreds of millions of dollars to spend on whatever the F you want. What is your first purchase just for you, selfishly? Who is the best James Bond not your favorite? Ya like jazz? I simply ask people when were you the happiest, insert any emotion, to Ray it's a nice way to know people and more often than not, people don't have a ready answer to this, they think about their day, think when they could have been happy, and then get a bit happy while telling the same. Long sleeve or short sleeve? What's your favorite bridge? I stole it from my favorite podcast but it's a great one. It's unexpected so you don't get a practiced answer and it usually has something to do with their hometown or childhood memories. Ask where did you go up and what was it like? If a train leaves NYC at noon headed to Albany at 70 miles per hour and another train leaves Albany at 1 p.m. headed to NYC at 50 miles per hour, where will the meet? What is your favorite quote? Where did you grow up? What's one thing you would do if you knew you wouldn't fail? Where are you from? If you could only play one song while stranded on an island, which song would it be? Do you believe in ghosts? If no it's quick if yes it's interesting. It's generic but where do you want to be in the future? Say, 10 years down the road. I say it because it gives me an insight on who they are, what their personality is like, how they let their moods handle things, how they let other people be in their life, and how work aggressive they are. Does a box fan make a room hotter? If you could do what you want instead of what you need, what would it be? What are your thoughts about what happened on 9-11? Have you ever edited a Wikipedia article? Which one? What did you add slash remove slash change? I know it's three questions but they're great for getting to know someone. Rather be too warm or too cold? Rather burn to death or freeze to death? What was the last concert you went to? So if you had to fuck a dead celebrity like their current corpse who would it be? Man I would absolutely hate to be asked any of these questions. Guess it's a good thing I don't socialize. Dude relax it's how crazy I am. What's your story? Tells you a lot about what someone thinks about themselves and what they prioritize. It's funny to hear one person start from the beginning, and then another will only give you their past 6 months.
It's as if why they choose the answer is as important to me as the answer itself.